The federal environment minister is trying to clarify something he said about investing in new road infrastructure. According to the Montreal Gazette, Stephen Gilbeau told a group of public transit advocates the federal government will no longer fund expanding road networks in Canada and instead focus on public transportation. That was not well received by the opposition who, as David Aiken explains, accused the environment minister of being out of touch. David. Well, Donna, you know, Environment Minister Stephen Gilbeau is an ardent enthusiast in favor of tough climate change regulations, electric vehicle use, carbon pricing, and that approach has won him fans, mostly in Quebec, but it has also won him lots of critics. Well, the crazy carbon tax minister has done it again. This time, he's saying that the federal government is not going to support any new road construction. I quote, Opposition leader Pierre Poiliev seized on comments Gilbo made Monday to a public transit advocacy group. Our government, Gilbo said, has made the decision to stop investing in new road infrastructure. According to the Montreal Gazette, Gilbo suggested Canadians do not need more roads since they can take transit and use alternate forms of transportation. The analysis we have done, Gilbo said, is that the network is perfectly adequate to respond to the needs we have. Gilbo did not dispute those remarks and on Wednesday had this to say. I was talking specifically about projects like the Troisième Lien that the, the, the CAC government in Quebec wants to, wants to move forward with. The Troisième Lien is a controversial multi-billion dollar project to build a tunnel under the St. Lawrence to connect Quebec City and Lévis. That project is currently on hold. Prime Minister, why in any event, it fell to the Prime Minister in question period to further clarify Gilbo's remarks. Uh, our government's approach to investing in trade corridors and roads that Canadians rely on has not changed since 2015. The PM reeled off projects the feds have funded, like the Gordie Howe Bridge in Windsor or highway twinning projects in Newfoundland and in Nova Scotia. Nonetheless, the episode was yet another example of how Gilbo's enthusiasm to be a climate change warrior can sometimes give his own side some political headaches. Donna. Okay, David Aiken in Ottawa, thank you.